the wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will knock it down. Generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungar. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Harvey, I'm called, whose axe is never slaked. The blood of my enemies is my meat, their skulls my pillow. You brag well. They were ever pleased by violence. Great Yotna, I stand here in awe of your might and majesty. They do not respect weakness. Show some backbone. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and meat to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! Guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. Come, give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? Last time I... Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings off a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? No 
close your eyes, your luck will improve. Did you forget your mead? Drink from the cup and start again. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow. Try another. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful! You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. Is that Loki there? Surely he would not dare. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? Gunlola looks glum, and she has not touched a drop of mead. Maybe I can raise her spirits. You're not drinking, Gunlola. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. Could you give it to me again? Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that, as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, um... Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. I think I will need to... Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. A river has a mouth and sometimes flows on gold. A good try, but the river's kiss is soft. It is a hammer. One more? I feel good. Be prepared. The white-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. One more time. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Old age is the answer. Old age? I think age is slowing your brain. 
Well, now the game is over. Have I... That was disappointing. Perhaps you'd better find someone more suited to your intelligence. I need to empty that cauldron. Then Tsutunga will open his vault. The mead is half gone. Then Aegir's cauldron can be drained. We will drain our horns in your honor. Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones. But I promise nothing. And one, no one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. The thralls, humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. No guests in the kitchen. Out! Agir, mighty friend to the Asir. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. No <laughs> 